In Alberta, tens of thousands of people make their living in the agricultural industry. With large equipment, they work their fields to provide, to provide for the public, to provide for their families. Their focus is on the task at hand, and too often that focus does not extend to the dangers hanging just above or lying just below. Each year, there are hundreds of power line contacts in Alberta, and a large number involve agricultural equipment. Some of these contacts result in serious injury, and some of them end in death. Other times, the potential victim is just plain lucky. Alan Kurtz lost both his legs after contacting a power line on his farm. I just happened to have a measuring tape with me. Sounds really dumb, but the measuring tape is kind of stiff, so I could sort of roll it out and push it towards the power line. And the idea was once the power, once I got parallel to the power, then I'd take my height and, and that would be good. But just as I was getting parallel, there was a flash of light and, a, and uh, that's how I got it got my quota of electricity. Even though Alan was typically very careful around electricity, he learned the hard way that getting too close to a power line can have serious consequences. Most farmers know the dangers of electricity and are quite familiar with the poles and power lines that have been running through their property for decades. So why are we still seeing so many agricultural contacts with power lines? The fact is, farm equipment is getting bigger which means knowing your clearance is even more important. For areas such as yards that are normally accessible to pedestrians only, the height of your equipment or load should not exceed 3.6 meters. Anything higher than that could be putting you at risk with contacting an overhead power line. If you're going to be parked and operating your equipment within 7 meters of a power line and don't know the voltage, or if you believe there may be a conflict with your task in the power line, contact Fortis Alberta or the electrical utility responsible for that particular power line. There are two main rules when in the vicinity of power lines, and it's critical that equipment operators know them and can apply them. First, how close you can come to a power line when you're parked and operating. And second, the maximum height of any equipment or load that is allowed to pass under a power line without stopping. By understanding the dangers and how to work safely around power lines, you can eliminate the possibility of a contact. When transporting equipment down any public road or highway in Alberta, there are requirements that you must be aware of. If your load is 5.3 meters or higher, you must contact Fortis Alberta at 310 wire. This will ensure you will be safe of any contact with any overhead power lines. A permit is also required from Alberta Infrastructure and Transportation. Existing provincial government guidelines state that when your equipment or load is higher than 4.15 meters and traveling down any public road or highway, that they must be contacted. For further clarification on high load permit requirements, they can be reached at travis.gov.ab.ca or 1-800-662-7138. You must remember that power lines are not only overhead, but they are underground as well. Contact Alberta One Call before any underground disturbance. This may save your life. If you do encounter a power line contact, call for help. Stay where you are. Don't touch anything as it may be in contact with the power line. Stay a minimum of 10 meters away and keep others away. If you are in a vehicle or equipment that makes contact with the power line, call for help. You can try to break free from the contact, but only if it doesn't cause further risk to yourself or others, or more serious damage to the power line. Get the vehicle or equipment at least 10 meters away. If you must exit, only in the case of fire, jump away from the vehicle or equipment with two feet together, then bunny hop or use small shuffles to get at least 10 meters away from the area. Please remember, don't take large steps, as there is a potential of current traveling through your body. Power lines can energize fences, trees, train tracks, 
and bodies of water when they are in contact. If you see a line down, do not make contact or get closer than 10 meters. If you do, you may complete the path of the current through your body, which may result in injury or death. Here are some other safety tips to keep in mind. Always be on the lookout for fallen or sagging wires, especially after storms. Never stack hay, pile grain, or place bulk fuel tanks or granaries near power lines. These can also be inviting to kids who could climb dangerously close to the line. Never spray water hoses or irrigation pivots at power lines. And be careful when pruning, a wire could be hiding in a tree. And under no circumstances should anyone but trained power line utility staff attempt to lift or measure power lines. I know the dangers of power lines, so I work safely by planting my yard so I never have to be around the power lines. You know, I always have to dig a lot of holes around here, and I have no idea of what's under the ground, so I always call Alberta First Call before I start digging. With the old sprayers, we never had to worry about uh, the sprayer hitting a power line. They were very low profile, but today's sprayers, being in excess of eight meters and they're unfolded, uh, can cause problems with hitting power lines, and we've got to be conscious of that. So one thing I'd like to encourage our farmer friends is to make sure that whether their equipment is parked or it's stationary or they're moving it from field to field or in their yard, to always make sure they look for out for the hazards and also that they know where's the line. Every year, several farmers and ranchers put themselves at risk of serious injury or death by contacting power lines. Electrical hazards can be anywhere, not just on major roads and highways, they could be in your yard, next to roads or in the fields themselves. With larger equipment and more development in your area, it is now even more important to ask yourself, where's the line? Knowing the potential hazards that may be in your own backyard may save you or your family's life. For more information, contact Fortis Alberta.